Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. What on this with The Low Blow and Southwest Fight News, here with Brenda Boom Boom Gonzalez. How you doing? Good, good. Yourself? Pretty good. Uh, big news for you. You know, I know it's not happening for a few months, but the last time we did interview you, one of your goals, you said, one of your dreams is to fight in Japan. Now you're getting the chance at Pancrase 247 against a beast in Rin Nakai. How does it feel to get this opportunity? Um, I'm excited, honored, I'm pumped. Um, you know, like you said, you asked me a while back where I'd, one place I'd like to go in Japan is on the list, and uh, now I'm getting to go, so it, I'm excited. And then here at your gym, there have been a lot of guys who have gotten the, and girls that have gotten the chance to fight out in Japan, and now you're joining them. Your, your gym's you know, slowly conquering the world, if you will. Yeah, it's um, kids getting to travel the world, and, and it's cool. So when you first heard of this opportunity, I, I mean, it's a, it's a big chance, you know, in a foreign country with an organization that has been around since, you know, the early 90s, since, you know, just as long as the UFC. Uh, what's that like to fight with such a big promotion in, in Japan, in one of the most respected countries of MMA? Um, I, I don't know, I kind of speechless. Um, you know, it's it's an awesome opportunity. Um, it hasn't really sunk in, you know, that I'm gonna be in Japan in a couple months or in three months. But um, it, it's it's a sweet it's sweet. Yeah. Now you're going into foreign territory against a fighter from the country. Uh, do you kind of look at this as you know? Do you compare it to let's say your last boxing match where you know it was a questionable decision that went the opposite way? How do you feel going into you know foreign territory like this? I mean, you've done it before, where you've gone to a woman's home state and pulled off the victory. But uh, do you feel ultimately that you'll have to finish this fight? Yes, for sure. I feel uh, if it goes the distance to a decision, um, more than likely, you know, I'm not going to get the decision. But um, I, I feel I need to go in and finish her, yeah. make a statement. That's going to be an interesting month span, also because Timmy's Tim Means, of course, is fighting the month before, right, in April, and then three weeks later, you guys are gonna head out to Japan. How, how crazy yeah. is that going to be? Um, well, I don't know if he's gonna get to go to make the Japan trip, but um, yeah, he'll be fighting in San Jose uh, in April, um, so it's gonna be busy, um, but that's, that's how we live. Busy, fast paced. Yeah. Now, you're also the King of the Cage Super Flyway Champion. Do you get to keep that title? Um, I do until, you know, I have I sign with a different uh, organization long time. Now, are there any plans to defend that title anytime soon before your fight in Japan, or is that um, going to have to wait? Yeah, it's going to have to wait right now. Uh, we're just concentrating on Japan. Um, you know, I need I have a couple lagging, uh, nagging injuries that, you know, that'll get to heal now. So, um, so we're just going to concentrate on Japan and... You know, going to fight this this girl. She's 13 and 0, so uh, got to be prepared. How do, comfortable do you feel at that weight class, uh, bantamweight? Just because you do mostly fight at, you know, super flyweight. Um, I feel I'll be comfortable. My first fight was at 35. Um, moved down to 30, and then fought at 25. Uh, my last three fights actually, so I won't have to cut too much weight, which will be nice, especially having to travel. You know, so um, I feel I'll be strong and. Uh, and ready. Now, I'm sure you've seen video of Rinnakai. I mean, she's a pretty big girl. What do you think about her? Um, she's big, strong. Uh, she looks explosive. Um, she's 5'1", I believe, so uh, she's a little wrestler, so um, I feel it's going to... We're both strong, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah, and finally, you know, you're looking for sponsors for the trip. How can they get a hold of you? Yes, um, I, you guys can hit me up on Facebook. Um, call me, 505-249-5608. Um, you know, any help, any help helps, you know. Uh, it's not easy being a full-time fighter, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna be putting together a raffle, so if you have some, uh, wanna get your, your business out there and donate, you know, gift certificates, product, whatever. Um, you know, let me know. And help out the local fighters here. So for Brenda Gonzalez, big opportunity. You know, we're pumped for you. Like I said, this, we spoke about this the last time we interviewed you, and, and congratulations on getting Thank to you. fight in Japan. Thank you. We'll see you guys. Thank you.